know what we got to do. Just turn the key. Beauty is only skin deep. Ugly goes to the bone. <laughs> well, hello, pals and palettes. <laughs> Today's another day, and we are going on a little bit of an investigatory mission. I was told of a scrapyard that had a few old square body chivalets and uh, could purchase them for 20 cents a pound. So, took off work a little early and we're gonna mosey on up to old Fredericksburg, Texas and take a little gander and see what we got there. So, wish me luck. You'll see us when we get there. So I'm at the scrapyard now, and I'm waiting for the owner to get back from lunch, but I went and took a look, and uh, there's a very nice 83-2 blazer, complete, like, remotely good shape. So it's kind of deep in the pile, so I need to see if I could strike a deal up with, uh, with the owner. Hopefully I don't have to pay cash. Just swipe it, you know. So we'll see. It's, uh, it's just regular old scrapyard, but the blazer's worth saving. Good morning, everybody. It is three months later since you saw the footage that you just saw. And I thought this ship had sailed. I thought it was long gone. I got a call yesterday and they pulled the blazer from the pile. So, I unfortunately have to work today, but my dearest brother is going to go up there for, for me. There he goes. Off to save the moon or the blazer or something. Day. And the package has been acquired. Me and Zane are about to check it out. We'll see if it was worth it. I gotta get that initial reaction. Initial reaction. It doesn't look half bad having cars stacked on top of it. Right. From here, anyways. I figured the back was gonna be crunched to dead. Fancy. Yeah. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised. Even has keys? Yes. And a roach dashboard. Yep. It's got the the hubcaps for the four wheel drive. Yeah. Matching set of wheels. Something. A non matching spare. Somebody robbed the taillights off of it. Got a replacement alternator. Okay, that's a start. It has electronic spark control. It has a trailer hitch. A bad one, but nonetheless one. Oh, there's, here's where we see a little damage, I suppose, from cars being stacked on it. Got a window. Of yeah, course. yeah. Small price yeah, to pay. Looks like something. Probably. 
Silverado. There I I just fixed it a little bit. Here's signs of forklift. Probably. Not bad though. I mean, I've seen worse rockers on the square body. Yeah, the passenger one's got a tiny bit more. Hmm. Oh, it, it even has the that. Oh, and of course, all that's missing. Oh, and there's no title. Rats. Take it back. I think it's an 82 by the looks of it. Mm, or an 81. Hood's had Bonda. That's weird. It's got baby tires in the front and big tires in the back. Oh, good. That won't hurt anything. Yeah. <sighs> Well, we have something. We got no nothing up there. Here, help me push this open. Oh, Lord. Okay, we'll call it good there. Halfway disassembled. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. There's no way of checking this, though. <laughs> in the state it was in. Yeah. Yeah, with everything stacked around it. Yeah. Yeah. She ain't stuck. But, I mean, really, what's been disassembled is just the fan and yeah, the maybe the water pump was bad. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh, maybe it is bad. They cut the... For a water pump? Possibly. 07. 07. That's a minute. It's gotta be 305. It looks small. Oh, here's the fan and fan clutch in here. Okay. What do we have here? Five liter. 305 with a four barrel? It says factory. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Wow. 273 rear end. Hmm. Pretty red transmission fluid. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Michelob. In the Modelo time. This thing is pretty dang decent, Zane. What? It's pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, really. Oh, yeah. All things considered. Anything under there worth talking about? No, I mean, it all looks like it's there. Okay. Solid front axle, the way a vehicle should be. Yeah, even though those ain't much stronger. <laughs> Better than that. <laughs> hmm. Not too soaked in oil. So she might be remotely all right. Did you check the oil? Yeah, it's above full. Oh, well then. Not a whole lot. Well, hook that puppy up and let's see if it. If we it. get lights on the dash or something. Oh, the fuel gauge moved. Saying we have a full tank. That's a lie. It was in the scrapyard saying we hardly have any volts. The clock is working. I'm going to bump it. Woo! We had turnage. It's turning. Yeah, that little that little pack ain't that helpful on a completely dead battery. But still, but it, it turns, so it's not locked. Let's see, dang, that interior is pretty freaking nice. I know. That's what I'm saying. Look at this headliner. There, it's it's there. And you said you said you were unsure. Unsure about what? This. Well, yeah. I mean, it had cars stacked on top of it. Yeah. Why's the dashboard got to be roached? That just ruins a vehicle. LMC. At least it won't shake everywhere. This is true. Is that thing still on there? Ah! Where's my rear roll bar? We're supposed to have a rear roll bar. Oh, no. It's got a G80 locker. What's that? The gov bomb that explodes. Oh, good. 
31 gallon fuel tank. That's fair. Styled wheels. So these are probably factory wheels. Where's my rear roll bar? This is the, the, the basic model. She don't got it. The tag says it has it. What? It is? Yeah. Seriously. This is what it has. Options. Well, yeah. I just stared at that. Uh, rear roll bar. Oh. Lie. Oh, it's back there, Zane. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's in the back back. Yeah. That's probably what might have saved some. That's maybe. Dumb. Yeah, it is. I mean, what's it doing way back there? You Unless know? this is steel underneath here. I don't know. How do these blazers work? Yeah, it's no. Well, it should be steel. Well, yeah, it's steel, but. Yeah, it's steel. Yeah. This it has a normal cab. Yeah. And then it has the fiberglass rear. Yeah. It's... Oh, no. I... I'd like. Oh, no. <laughs> Anything in the backpack? Tough stuff. Some trash bags. And a high quality Pokemon hat for a child. Ooh. Too bad we know no one with children. Why would you scrap this? Because you got part way into your water pump change and uh, you died, and then your kids don't care about your junk, so they throw it away. That's highly plausible. I mean, one of them left their Pokemon hat in here, so they really don't care. A little cone paper? Yep, that's what that is for the old dirty queen. Ancient. Wow. Well, I guess. Tomorrow, we see if it'll do something. Yep, agreed. The grill guard it didn't have did plenty of good. Oh, there's one scratch there. That's wild. All right, what did your investigative venture find? I think this is why it cranked over slow because we had no battery ground wire hooked up other than this little tiny one. Okay. Now I just gotta find something to bolt that in. To the motor somewhere? Yeah. Do we All have worth- on the heads. Well, the, maybe that puppy right there? It would, but... Oh, they are, they're too long. I wonder if I reach that carburetor bolt. That's what I was thinking. Me too. That looks near new. That looks near new. That third one's not. It was off. Maybe it kept fouling plugs. Yeah, that one's definitely not there. It was the one that was unplugged. Well, maybe it was... Unplugged and weathered. I think that's what it was, yeah. And number four. Looks new. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's odd to get an idea of what was going on here with everything missing. I mean, the trans fluid looks new. The engine oil looks beautiful. It's got a shiny carburetor on it. It's like maybe, maybe whoever stole the tail lights needed a front. Front pulley system. Or something. Who knows? Yeah. As we hook this battery up, I notice that booster doesn't look old either. No. At all. That looks quite new. This looks pretty shiny as well. Whatever that is. Oh, the uh, vacuum hippie thing. So we just need four things. Fuel, air, spark, and, your luck. and hope. Oh. <laughs> Not hope, your luck. Hmm. <laughs> well, I did get lucky. This did get saved out of the yunk. Dang, tightening them down all the way. I don't even do that. You now need, it's not going to start. You need, damn it. Yeah, you should have probably hooked the battery. <laughs> I just screwed the whole operation. Yep. Well, let's 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 just see if there's spark. Let's put off the, the inevitable. Bu -bu -bu -bu. I was just gonna let it suck some down and look for spark at the same time, but I'll... Oh, well, we gotta amuse the the crowd. So you wanna crank it or you want me to crank it? You got the camera. You I, I do got the camera. <laughs> do we have spark? Oh, they're terrible, these switches are. You kinda don't. Maybe we pull a fuse. There we go. All right, ready, I'm ready. <laughs> yep, we got good spark. She's gonna pop, right? She has to. So will this blazer that was sitting in the scrap pile start and run? And it's been sitting 07.
do the math. Oh, here, let me get, there's some. Hang on, let me get my snappy cat. Well, there's some rat hair in here, cat hair, same difference. We're gonna need to suck all that down. <laughs> There we go. All right, let's see. Ready when you are? Yep. <laughs> it's alive. It runs. Put some of the candy. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. The parts. Parts. Blazers are parts card. Blazers what? Aren't parts card. They're not? Nope. Well then, I forgot the fuel line I was gonna bring. Hmm. Quired. Oh, I have Berryman's in here too? Dang. This thing from the last episode we did with it. I just went to swap the lure and selector and the then it stayed swapped midway. So I pushed it here. Tow truck, you know, that needs a trans now. If it ain't easy, no. It'd be easy if, I don't know. Concoction of voodoo. Concoction of the voodoo. Nice. But it'll work. I don't know. And we got gasoline right here. On the way over here. For the record, I spilled fuel. Good thing I don't smoke. We've got a fuel line plumbed. Where? Here. Oh, are you serious? What happened? All these freaking wires are in the way. I didn't rat them under. What are they? Are they part of the harness? Or are they tied to something? They are. Part of the harness. There's some hippie stuff going on though. But we got that in. So now we need to see if we get fuel up here. And then, in theory, it should run if that Edelbrock isn't junk, but I'm not hopeful. IDK. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those generic gems. Okay. Rule of thumb. Go ahead and pre... Pre... Uh, Pre-pump? Pre... What's the word? Pre-prime? Pre-prime, yeah. He loves the taste oh, of it. Oh! I did it! I did it. <laughs> All right, now we just got to weasel it. In there. We got some spillage happening. Yeah. It's eighty-seven dollars, sir. Yeah. Oh come on! <laughs> it went on earlier. <laughs> yeah, it slipped right on. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't I, hear any more drips. No, because I'm pinching it off. There. Okay. It's because the gas washed a little bit of Earl you put on the tip of the hose off. Yep, probably. Get her on all the way since we aren't using the clamp. Look at that. Best hand cleaner in the world. Yep. Okay. Now to see if we prime. Yep. Oh, yeah. Almost immediately. Hold up! We got a little, a little leak. We gotta tighten that guy up some. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Try it. Whoop! Ew! So the shranny's pumping. We got a leak. Oh my! We got some purple caca oh, key. We got, we got strawberry milkshake. Yeah, strawberry milkshake, hardcore, legit, like natural strawberries that aren't super red. <laughs> okay, we've looped that tranny line. Let's. All right, here we go. Oh. 
It doesn't sound terrible. I'm choking it. Oh, you're choking it. Half choke. Wow. Hey. Idling. Oh, she's barely holding on. Well, to me, I think it's time to get it off the trailer. It's yep. What? It was idling was oh uh, hello ramps all right you, let's see if it moves let's see if it has brakes too before we get too far <laughs> yeah yeah Oh, oh, big fire. Uh oh, we're spewing fluid from some. Oh, nothing. It's power steering. You're hitting the fender. You're hitting the fender. It's hard, it's right. So you gotta tur turn right, turn right. Okay, okay, I'm wondering if we could just nudge this truck back a little with hitch to hitch. Let me put this other one in neutral. <laughs> All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, um, you're bumper to bumper, so let's see if it moves it. Put her in four low. No. Why not? Not with different size tires on it. For three minutes, one minute. Oh, Lord. You see, it's it's set up to push. It is. <laughs> it really is. And four low for a whopping ten feet would probably move this truck. You think? I think. Well, it's gonna shatter the tea case. No, I've done worse before. Oh there we go. That's if the hub's engaged. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Amazing. Four wheel drive works. There you go. Oh no! What? You're now stuck on it. Oh, you're completely stuck on it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> have a rock bar somewhere. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is quality home entertainment. Let's see your hands. Well, they don't look so bad. Oh, but they are. But 
Oh, uh, whoops. It's all right. He's going to build bumpers for it anyway. Mm, they're a little sticky. Yeah. Okay, well, you want to pull forward, and I will attempt to free said blazer. Ready? Hold on, hold on. You so strong? Is it still in four low? Yeah. Well, that's not helping. Yeah, no. Well, there we have it. Blazer scrapped for some unknown reason. And this guy <laughs> might want this. So if this guy wants this, I can't sell that. Yeah, you can. I need a four-wheel drive SUV, too. It would be way cooler if that was on this. That. Not that. That would be cool. So with that, <laughs> but that, yeah. You just have to take 20 inches out of the front of the bed. Yeah, you like those short beds anyway. Uh -huh. Go molest a perfect truck, that's fine. <laughs> huh, it did something. It did something, more than something. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, I didn't know if we were gonna drive it no, I today. Didn't. I was very doubtful of that. Me too. Why would somebody scrap it? Do y'all know? Would you scrap it? Nope. No. No. So stuff has been removed, and now you're putting stuff back on. I've only taken this off, really. Well, and the radiator, I guess. And the compressor. It was already off. Oh, you just removed it, was, it all the way. It was just laying in here. I don't know if y'all could see, but that uh, timing cover has been rebuilt twice, or at least once. I guess factory was orange, and then... Somebody rebuilt it with the blue rebuild kit. This one, we're going to go for the rust look. They painted it that nasty Ford blue color. Ooh. <laughs> Them's fighting words to the right guy. <laughs> They're shiny parts on junk. On junk. So now we can move forward with the rest of this thing. That's the way all the brackets should have been painted. Mister, but you're too busy doing the right thing and buying new water pumps. Yeah. But we got a pulley, power steering pump, and other miscellaneous things from a part suburban I had. So the only thing that we had here was the alternator and what was it, the fan? Yes. Yes. Well, Zane's made a lot of progress here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I got one of the washers for the fan. And I installed the alternator wiring. I wired the alternator. The hardest part. The hardest part of the whole thing. Very confusing. Yes, yes, yes. Had All to, this going on. Had to consult the Google. Yeah. But it's this much closer to running. So maybe manana. If it's not pouring rain. Yeah, I hope it doesn't pour rain. I need to work to make the green stuff. Queens? Yep, coins. You need to go to that Suburban and rob that. Fair enough. And then this will be done. Cool. Have things escalated? Just a touch. Just a touch. <sighs> because chrome. Chrome. Ew, what's that yellow caca? That's the radiator. 
Don't no. Worry. Don't worry about that. That yellow's out of the radiator? Well, I put some. I did put some actual coolant in it. It's like foamy coolant. Oh, that's disgusting. It just barely drips. It's okay. It's fine. It's the chrome. It hasn't seated yet. So we got air cleaner now. We have power steering pump now. Yes, after that debacle. Shiny belts. Raj adder. We saw that the other day, I think, but not installed. Jimmy rigged. Old diesel shroud that's not doing much. But it's doing something. It's doing oh, is it from that truck? It was in the bed of that truck. So oh, well, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> I got the back passenger brake to gravity bleed some. I can't get nothing out of the back driver. That's fine. And I haven't touched the fronts yet. Oh, even better. Because it started raining yesterday. But yeah, this was fun. So the new, the newer pump that's supposed to be on here, uh -huh. I guess is, I don't know how it mounts, but this bracket on it wanted to put this arm right in the neck. So oh. I just swapped out the fitting. And it worked. Yeah. So we have power steering. Tiny new hoses. And fresh rubber. See. So we're we're ready to go. Will it start right up turn of the key? It should. All right. Because it was... Okay. <laughs> ha! Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well now, figure, figure fuel, fuel tank situation, but first you, we're gonna have to set, load those. I started with that. I drilled a hole in the hood. Oh, you did? And now I'm gonna drill an even bigger hole in the hood. So you can just oh. run it in the wing window. That's, that's ideal. It's just, a, it's just an old square body. Nobody likes these things anyway. No, they're junk. Drill holes in them. They rust out, see? Yeah, yes, Case in point. All right. Well, next scene you'll see, we're gonna be driving this. Maiden voyage test drive number one. It's so sticky. Oh no. No, I cleaned it. Oh, it's not sticky. Yeah, no sticky. Oh, no sticky. <laughs> like a glove. Way healthier than a few scenes ago. The tires got enough air in them. They got some air. Some is better than numb. I filled them up a couple of days ago. Well, that's fair. It's pretty quiet. And the brakes, brakes are came back. Terrible. Okay. I just love how raked it is. Yeah. And I love how far you're sitting in that seat. <laughs> it seems low. Oh, here we go. Ooh. That's not good. No. You hear that? What is that sound? Ooh. We're not going very far. No, we're not. That sounds like rear end or tranny. Transfer case. Ooh. From them running these mix match tires. Maybe. Well, now here's all the excuse for you to put the four speed that's, uh, that's in the Suburban in here. The four speed? Yeah. Suburban. The one you wrapped up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dangerous. She died. Okay. Oh, that feels awful. Y'all can't feel. You could maybe feel it emotionally. Oh, she's a bucking. Yeah. But she's not a Bronco. Huh? <laughs> huh? 
Well, now we know why it was parked. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the gra glass falling, falling in. Out. It's all the cedar shavings. Just even that out a little bit. Oh, there's one of my rags. Huh? Oh, that was one of my rags. Yay, made a voyage all of a sixteenth of a mile. We didn't get stranded though, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. Not like the Ram Charger. We made it back. Sell it. Now what is next? You could tell everyone what's next. Uh, we're gonna make two plus two equal fish. Fish, perfect. In theory. Maybe. I would like love to put that 64 on it. Well, that's what needs to happen then. We'll see that next episode. Maybe. No, not next episode. The next one. You'll have it done in two weeks. Like and subscribe. See you next time.